On a summer afternoon in the 1920s, a Washington, D.C. police officer noticed something curious. A car kept circling mm -hmm. the neighborhood, and every so often, one man jumped out to spin the wheels while the other took notes. Turns out they were government researchers from the National Institute of Standards and Technology running tests to make sure taxis weren't overcharging consumers. Mystery Minute. Is the fair fair testing the taxi meter? In the 1920s, after taxis were first introduced, people started to wonder if they were being charged a fair fare. Taxi drivers used a meter that was attached to the front wheel of the vehicle. They calculated the fare by recording the number of tire rotations to measure the distance traveled. The cable required lots of maintenance and corrupt taxi drivers could tamper with the taxi meter to overcharge customers. Taxi companies soon rolled out a new version of the taxi meter that was attached to the transmission near the back wheels. But J.W. Wabley from the Pittsburgh Taxi Meter Company wasn't so sure about these new taxi meters. He asked NIST to conduct an investigation to see if the general public was negatively impacted by the newer meter model. NIST researcher Ralph W. Smith led the investigation and worked with local taxi companies to test both types of taxi meters. He even used his own personal car, dubbed the Pontiac, as part of the study. To run the test, Smith and DC Highway Department installed 24 permanent bronze medallions into the curb along a five-mile stretch of streets. The markers were used to measure distance Smith ran tests on different routes and measured the effects of different variables, such as the speed of the cab, loaded and unloaded trucks, passengers sitting in front and back seats, and driving on flat roads and hills. Smith also tested the taxi meters under all sorts of weather conditions, rain, snow, sleet, and clear weather. The study lasted seven months. At the end of it, Smith reported there was no significant difference between the two meters paving the way toward widespread use of the new meter and consumers feeling more confident in a fair ride. Today, NIST is involved in the development of tests and standards to ensure app-based ride-sharing services accurately record the distance of your trip. Curious where NIST researchers will turn up next? Visit us at www.nist.gov.